please boost because I want this to reach so many women that it's insane. So this man said, black women are jealous of our biological clock, right? Now, I'm going to ignore the rest of what he said because it's obvious BS. But the first part, a lot of men of all races think like this. And I want more women to understand the reason why men think this. So you guys know that men are going through an extinction burst, right? And men are actually jealous of women. I'm going to explain to you how. But they want women to actually be programmed to believe that they're actually jealous of men because men somehow have the upper hand. But let me explain to you how men don't have the upper hand and will never have the upper hand. So all men think they fit into a category. All men think they have the same options as these guys. When we know that's not true, the 50 year old man that works at Home Depot, the mailman, and the guy who works at the insurance company office does not have the same options and the same women attracted to him as these guys do. Every man does not have prime years. These guys do. Every man does not have a bunch of options. These guys do. And if you aren't these guys, which are 10 to 20% of men, men who have status, money, and value, you are nothing to be jealous of because you don't have what those guys have. You literally have to beat the odds. You have to be above average, not just the average man. Most men of all ages dominate on dating apps. Most men who are older are not successful. The average man is not attractive like Brad Pitt. You at your old age will never be attractive to more attractive to a 20 year old than her counterparts. That is why statistically over 88% of couples are two to three years apart. The government proves this. The average woman gets married between the ages 28 and 34 in the United States. And the person she gets married to is usually two to three years older. Age gap couples are not common and men with a lot of value is not common. Most men are invisible and most men do not have a lot of options. Women between the ages 18 to 30 are 12% of the population according to the census. And if you go to this calculator, it tells you if you type in a woman who's not overweight and unwed of a man getting her between the ages 18 to 30. And that's not including if she has a mental health issue, if she has a child, if she has a bunch of children, or if she's dating someone her age. Women who have healthy father figures tend to date men around their age. They don't date men who are 20 to 30 years older because that will be their father's age. And that means they will be attracted to men who look like their father. Someone like me at 23, I'm not attracted to a beer gut and a beer belly and gray hair. I want somebody who looks like this. But men have to tell themselves this because it feels good and it makes them, it gives them support of vindication. It's almost like when you tell a child, keep being good and you're going to get that new unicorn. The unicorn, the odds of you catching that unicorn is 20%. But since you have a chance, you think you're going to get it. When most likely you aren't. You're going to get what you qualify for. And sometimes that may be a donkey. This is how much the average man makes in America. The average man, she would have to work, go 50-50, and in return, he would have to go 50-50 on the household chores. Middle-aged men are more likely to commit unaliving due to loneliness, according to this .org website. is not made up. Stop. You can repeat this lie all day and night, but men do not have the upper hand unless they are men of a certain caliber.